All right, y'all. Before I get started on this, because I need, I gotta hurry up because I gotta head out to work. But uh, it's so sad what happened to take off from the group Migos. Everyone is aware of how he died. He was shot in the head over a dice game, and it's just so sad because this shit keeps on continuing. Like it, it doesn't stop. The stupidity. Like, I do not understand to this day. And I used to play dice a long time ago in Chicago with friends and stuff. But I never took it to that level where you had to kill someone or fight someone. But I still know people, even my age, that does that shit. Be out there shooting dice, uh, playing crap, shit like that. And getting ready to get a fight over the bullshit. It's not even worth it. And now this man has lost his life. Someone who was a major influence in a lot of these young kids lives a lot of people looked up to this guy and it's just so sad but i heard Deion sanders had a very emotional strong speech to his team if everyone not familiar with Deion sanders he's a head coach on the college level and everyone know he's probably one of the best to, to do it in the nfl but I had to check this out because I heard it was powerful. And if you not following Deion Sanders, he is doing it different than a lot of these coaches. He's teaching these guys how to be men before football players. He's teaching them how to become men to do it the right way. So without further ado, y'all, let's jump into this because I, I need to hear this shit before I go for real. I'm just sick and tired of the consistency of people that are influential to you are leaving us consistently. That's our rap. Take off with right murder in a in a dice game in Houston. Where we're going. So that mm. and all y'all leaving that hotel because it ain't happening until I give you fucking up. So um, whatever her name is, whoever she is, parents, everybody, they're gonna come to the hotel to visit you because y'all ain't leaving. Sooner or later we gotta start changing our addresses, guys. That's an analogy to saying, I know we this, but we ain't that. We got to leave that behind that we once did. And that's what you guys are. Now you guys are Jackson State royalty. You ain't no man. You're not whoever you were a year ago. You're not even who you're going to be a year from now, which is a blessing. But you can't continuously do the things you've always done and expect to get the results. It's going to have to be a change. All of us have gone through drastic changes. Have we coaches? Have we coaches? All of us are still evolving into what God has called us to be, and that's change. You cannot kick it with the same dudes you kicked it with. You cannot kick it with the multitude of women that you kick it with. You cannot associate in the same realms that you associate with. You're going to have to change if you expect change. You can't do it. It's going to come to a time. They can talk about you. They can mock you. They can ridicule you. They can cuss you out, they can clown you, whatever they want. But you're going to have to separate sooner or later. You're going to have to disconnect. Sooner or later, you're going to have to. So get that in your spirit. I'm, I'm, I'm sad because it just seems like it's always us. Mm -hmm. But we want to say we matter. We want to say we keep it in 100, but it's always us. us. Now we lose another soldier to some bull jump. That when we look back at it, the gentleman going to say, dang, now his whole life changed. Because now he's incarcerated or murdered uh, in, in, in a consequence of what transpired. Because you know how the game is played. And I don't want y'all playing that foolish game. Because y'all are valuable to your families, friends, loved ones, and you're valuable to us. All right? Let's think about that. Let's pray for the families. Ain't got no, ain't no time. Ain't got no time to take foolish. Let's go get it. Deion Sanders, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. The thing that's different about a verbal process. vacation home. But Deion Sanders, wow, very powerful. You heard what he said. You have to leave that behind. See, with takeoff, he didn't leave that life behind. I understand when you come from the hood, you gotta, you know, you always have your friends talking shit about you. Oh, nigga, you you ain't from the hood no more. You became rich and famous. Now you left us behind. You damn right. That's what you supposed to do. You supposed to leave. When you become 
someone of importance as far as like celebrity you don't supposed to do the same shit that you've been doing before you became famous you don't stay in the same hood if you got the money to move out move out but come back and do for the community you can come back and do for the community but you don't have to be in that community you don't damn sure don't have to act the same way that's the problem with a lot of black motherfuckers for real my black people you know what i'm saying we just don't get it sometimes you know we have so many friends around us those friends who don't end up doing shit or being shit in life and they always try to keep you down on that level with them and i'm just keeping it real i can say this shit because i have lived it so i can get whatever comment i want you know y'all can send whatever negative comments y'all want i don't care i know what i'm talking about a lot of people just don't know how to branch off from that shit if you become rich and famous leave that shit behind but come back and do for your community still do for your community help out as much as you can but don't do the same shit that you was doing now this man had lost his life because he still want to play you know shoot dice do you a millionaire you don't have to shoot dice you don't have to live that same life forget uh people calling you soft or you ain't hood no more you damn right don't be hood. Hood ain't nothing to be proud of. It ain't. Saying I'm hood ain't shit good about that, man. Nothing. I mean, a lot of us grew up in the hood. I'm not going to knock motherfuckers that's out there making their money. That ain't what I'm saying. I said if you become rich and famous, if you can get out, get out, and don't do the same thing. Become a role model to the young people out there. That's what it's all about. It's about the young people under you. Once you get up in age and you become successful, think about the people under you, the people that watches you, the people that, you know, try to be like you. And I feel bad for this dude, man. I didn't really, I wasn't really a fan of Migos, but whenever I hear someone pass on, you know, I got to talk about it. But Deion Sanders nailed that shit, man. People got to step away. But until next time, we're, uh, I'm going to be talking about this again. So as always, peace, love, and deuces.